Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Turner and I am a real estate agent in Lake Chapala, Mexico. Today I'm taking you on a tour of four homes, all within the price ranges of $200,000 to $300,000. The first home we're looking at is located in Riberas del Pilar within a gated community. It is the first home in the development. So once you walk up onto the patio, you have an amazing view of the mountains that the other lots do not have because they are wall to wall. And I don't want to yap too much, so let's go see it. As I mentioned earlier, our first home is in Riberas del Pilar. The price is $239,999 US dollars. It is a two bedroom, two bathroom. Construction size is 168 square meters or 1,808 square feet. Your lot size is 133 square meters or 1,429 square feet. Your HOA is 1,100 pesos per month and it comes furnished. Here's our home in question, new development that just went in. If we zoom out, you will see that this is all of Riberas here and San Antonio. So if you go to the east here, this will take you to Chapala. And if you go to the west of this home, it'll take you into Ajijic. Here's your Libramiento that leads you to Guadalajara. And lots of cool shopping and dining in Riberas and San Antonio. The next home on our list is located in Brisas de Chapala. It is located on the Libramiento, which is the road that leads you into Chapala or Ajijic or Jocotepec from Guadalajara. This house is a little old fashioned and needs maybe some minor updates, but overall it's a great house with great potential. Let's go inside. <laughs> The second home on our tour today is located in Brisas de Chapala. The price of this home is 250,000 US dollars. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom. Your construction size is 202 square meters or 2,174 square feet. Your lot size is 465 square meters or 5,005 square feet. The HOA fees for this home are 1,180 pesos per month and it comes furnished. Here is where home number two is on our tour located in the development of Brisas de Chapala, which is located on the highway to Guadalajara. So it's kind of nice because it's quiet out there. It's a little bit out of the hustle and bustle of everywhere in town. You can see this is where the development is. And then if you go down into here, you'll get into Ajijic, San Antonio's over here, Roberto del Pilar. Uh, if you are here in this development, you can take this road straight into Chapala, or you can come down here into Ajijic, where you can do some shopping and dining and all that. Also here in Chapala, it's very nice. Okay, house number three on our list is located in Chapala Haciendas, which is also on the Libramiento. It is the last development in the area before you're pretty much on your way to Guadalajara. I personally love this home. It's not huge, but it's not tiny either. And the way that the layout was done makes it very efficient and they spared no expense in the bells and whistles. So everything was done correctly from AC to lighting to outlets for TVs higher up in the walls. It just had a very cooling effect and felt very good to be inside of there. The Feng Shui is, here we go.
third home on our tour is located in Chapala Haciendas, which is pretty much just right across the highway from Brisas de Chapala. The price of this home is $267,900 US dollars. It is a two bedroom, two and a half bath. Construction size is 134 square meters or 1,442 square feet. The lot size is 411 square meters or 4,424 square feet. Your HOA fees are 1,000 pesos per month and it does not come furnished. All right, guys, here's where home number three is on our tour. And if we zoom out a little bit, you'll see that this is Brisas de Chapala, which was what I was talking about right across the highway from Chapala Haciendas. If we zoom out, we can see that this road here leads you all the way to Guadalajara. Let me zoom out just a little bit more so you can see. Wow, look at that big old city. If we take this road all the way down, it'll take you into Ajiji, San Antonio, Riveras, and then you can take this down to Chapala that we would like to go to Ajiji. It's about a 19 minute drive right now on a Tuesday night at 8 p.m. And that is in like the center of town right here, which I don't even think it would take that long. I think maybe it would take like 10, 15 minutes. The fourth and final home on our list is located in Riveras del Pilar. And this is also one of those homes where it is done to perfection. We met the owners while we were there. They're super sweet. And you can just tell that they take care of all of those little details. So this house is in great shape. Let's go check it out. Fourth and final home on our tour today is located in Riveras del Pilar. It is $299,000 US dollars. It is a two bedroom, two bathroom. Your construction size is 192 square meters or 2,067 square feet. Your lot size is 360 square meters or 3,875 square feet. There are no HOA fees and it comes furnished. We're gonna zoom out a little bit so that we can see where we are. You are right here in Riveras. And then if you go to the west, you're in San Antonio, all the way to Ajijic. This road can also take you all the way to Jocotepec down here at the end. So if you go to the east, you're in Chapala. This road here will take you either west to Ajijic or east to Chapala, or you could take the Libramiento up to Guadalajara. We took our client to Diane Pearls, which is located about three doors down from the last house we just saw. Diane Pearl has been a staple in Ajijic for a very, very, very long time. She has Mexican folk art from all over the country and she really sources things well. Every time you come in here, there's something new to see. It is the perfect little gift shop if you are visiting town and need something for people back home. Pensé que lo había perdido Contigo se abrió mi corazón Mi alma cerrada como el frío invierno A pesar 
pesar de que fuera florecía el jazmín. Okay, guys, that's it for me. And if you hear that sweeping in the background, that's my gardener sweeping up the courtyard. I hope that this video was a good reference for you if you're thinking about buying property in Lake Chapala. I also hope it's a good reference for those of you who are looking to sell your home in Lake Chapala. If you are looking to sell or looking to buy, please email me at amanda at lakechapalarealty.com. Also, please don't forget to check out my website right here where you'll find our bed and breakfast, our cafe, and you can shop some of my favorite items on Amazon. All the items in my shop I have personally purchased and I love them. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, please comment because I love interacting with you guys, and then hit the bell for notifications for future videos. Until next time, bye bye.